It is time to break free from every grip of generational curses. It is time to get loose from every stronghold of ancestral spirits. Right now, break free, break free, break free in Jesus' name. Grace and peace to you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and Welcome, welcome to another interactive prayer service here at the God's Heart TV studio in North Wales. And by the, the grace of God, by the special grace of God today, uh, we have more than 2,000 people who have connected from all over the world to be part of today's service. Both those who have connected through Zoom, those who are connecting live through YouTube right now, you are all warmly welcome in Jesus' name. And congratulations for being part of today's service. And do you know the reason why I am congratulating you right now? I'm congratulating you because here you are, connected today. Here you are. You know, uh, there's an important spiritual principle that any time you want to take a step that will bring spiritual growth to your life, you are bound to encounter some opposition, some attack to try and discourage you from taking that step but look look at you here today despite the obstacles here you are <laughs> despite the attempts of the devil to discourage you from connecting to today's service here you are despite the lies that the devil has tried to whisper into your heart those fears and doubts despite that here you are today connected with people of God from all over the world and you have connected today because of the recognition of the Lordship of Jesus Christ, the sovereignty, the supremacy of Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Alpha and the Omega. And you are here because you know that God knows you. People of God, he knows what you are passing through. He, he understands your condition. He understands your pain, your plight. He knows. And I know it's been a challenging journey for so many of us. So many of us have been living under the torment and torture of the devil for far too long, for too many years. But people of God, take heart. The fact that you are participating in this service today is clear proof that the devil has been defeated. He has not succeeded in stopping you from seeking God's face. So therefore, people of God. Don't give him the attention he craves. Stop regarding the devil's lies and deception with your precious focus. Right now it's time to focus, to give your attention to our Lord Jesus Christ. Stop focusing on the devil. Focus on Jesus Christ. Focus on him. Why? Because he has what you need. He has the solution. He has the answer. He holds the key. And let me encourage you, people of God. Right now, right here, if you are willing to receive, then the job is half done already because Jesus Christ is willing to give to you today. Let me quickly read you a scripture in that book of Mark chapter 1 from verse 40 to 41. 
If you have your Bibles, quickly turn there with me. Mark chapter 1, verse 40 to 41. It says this, Now a leper came to Jesus, imploring him, kneeling down to him and saying, If you are willing, you can make me clean. Verse 41, Then Jesus moved with compassion, stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, I am willing, be cleansed. Whatever situation you are in right now, by faith, hear Jesus saying unto you, my child, I am willing to be cleansed. My son, my daughter, I am willing to be cleansed. People of God, I, I may not know exactly what you are passing through right now. But one thing I do know. Jesus Christ is willing to touch you today. He's willing to deliver you today. He's willing to release you, to restore you today. But take notes of this. He will touch you. He will bless you. He will heal you. He will deliver you for the salvation of your soul. That's... Genuine willingness. Genuine willingness recognizes the reason for the miracle is salvation. So, people of God, as we're about to, to pray together now in this wonderful service, please don't just be part of this service today because of the results you want from God. I, I need healing. I need deliverance. I need promotion. God, give me a, a wife, a husband. I need this. I need that. Don't just be part of today's service because of results. Be part of today's service because of relationship. Relationship with God. This is the principle that must guide our Christian journey. Don't just pray because of results. Pray because of relationship. Read your Bible because of relationship. Fast because of relationship. Go to church because of relationship. Give to others because of relationship. Relationship with God first. Everything else will come in God's time and in his way. So people of God, <laughs> with this word dominating your hearts, it is time right now for prayer in the power of the Holy Spirit. Let your hearts right now be in tune with God. Let go of any offense. Let go of any bitterness. Let go of any unforgiveness towards anyone so that nothing will be a barrier between you and what God has destined you to receive today. Release forgiveness right now. Take a moment to do that. Whatever hindrance between your heart and the Holy Spirit be removed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Maintenant, quel que soit le blocage entre vous et le Saint-Esprit, soyez libérés au nom de Jésus-Christ. Ahora mismo, cualquier obstáculo que esté en tu corazón y el Espíritu de Dios sea removido en el nombre de Jesús. Every barrier of offense, barrier of bitterness, barrier of wrong, barrier of resentment, be removed right now. Toute barrière de l'offense, toute barrière de l'amertume, soyez libérés maintenant. Toda barrière de offense, toute barrière de amargura, toute barrière de erreur, ressentiment, sea removido en el nombre de Jésus. People of God, it is time. 
It is time right now. It is time to break free from every grip of generational curses. It is time to get loose from every stronghold of ancestral spirits. Right now, break free, break free, break free in Jesus' name. Peuple de Dieu, il est temps maintenant d'être libéré de la malédiction euh, générationnelle. Soyez libérés, libérés. Ahora mismo es momento de ser libre de todo, de todo espíritu ancestral. Se ha declarado libre en el nombre de Jesús. Whatever affliction that entered your life through generational curses, be cast out right now. Out, out, out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Peu importe l'affliction qui est venue chez vous par rapport à l'esprit de génération, soyez libérés, libéré, brisé, brisé au nom de Jésus-Christ. Ahora mismo, toda affliction en tu vida à travers des maldiciones générationales, se libre ahora, se libre en el nombre de Jésus-Christ. That's unclean spirits tormenting your life, tormenting your family, tormenting your career, your business, your finances. Be flushed. Out right now! Out right now! Get out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ! Vomit it out in the name of Jesus Christ! Esprit impur qui, qui trouble vos familles, vos carrières, soit brisé, brisé maintenant, vomissez-les! Tu esprit immonde qui te stéa tormentando tu vida, tu famille, tu salut, tus finances, tu carrière, ahora mismo se ha expulsado en el nombre de Jesús. Vomítalo en el nombre de Jesucristo! Who is that demon? In the face of God's power. Who is that devil in the face of God's armor? You devil! Listen to the voice of God. Hear this pronouncement. I say, get out right now. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Leave that family. Leave that man. Leave that woman. Get out right now. Qui est ce démon devant la face de Dieu Toi démon, je t'ordonne au nom de Jésus-Christ. Pars, 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 quitte leur famille au nom de Jésus-Christ. Qui est ce démon devant le rostro de Dieu Ahora mismo escucha la voz de Dios. Fuera, fuera en el nombre de Jésus-Christ. Right now I command every spirit of addiction in your life to come out right now. Get out in the name of Jesus Christ. Maintenant, je commande tout esprit d'addiction de quitter votre vie. Dors au nom de Jésus-Christ. Tout esprit de affliction, ahora mismo, sal, sal en el nombre de Jésus-Christ. That spirit of lust, that spirit of immorality, that spirit of fornication and adultery, that spirit pushing you to masturbation and pornography. Get Out right now! Leave, leave, leave in Jesus' name. Cet esprit de luxure, cet esprit de fornication, d'idolâtrie, de masturbation, part maintenant au nom de Jésus Christ. Tout esprit de immoralité, tout esprit de fornication, de adultère, masturbation, sal, sal en el nombre de Jésus Christ. Right now, all spirits of witchcraft, sorcery. Divination. I say you must leave right now. Leave, leave, leave in the name of Jesus Christ. Maintenant, tout esprit de sorcellerie, de divination, je leur donne de quitter. Partez, partez maintenant au nom de Jésus Christ. Tout esprit de brujería, de adivination, hechicería, sal, sal en el nombre de Jesús Cristo. People of God. I can see God releasing you right now. I can see the power, the presence of God touching your case right now. Touching your health. Touching your family. Touching your career. Touching your finances. Open your heart and receive that touch. Peuple de Dieu, je peux voir Dieu vous libérer maintenant. Libérer vos familles, votre santé, vos carrières. Ouvrez vos cœurs et recevez le toucher. 
Pueblo de Dios, puedo ver la liberación de Dios, la presencia de Dios, tocando cada caso, tocando tu familia, tu matrimonio, tocando. Abre tu corazón y recibe en el nombre de Jesucristo. By faith, I want you to place your hand wherever you are experiencing pain. If you're holding the picture of a family member who is on the sick bed, hold it right now. If you yourself are sick, place your hand where you are having the pain. The Holy Spirit is present right now to touch you. Ahora mismo, por fe, coloca tu mano donde estás experimentando dolor. Y si tienes la fotografía de tus familiares también, tenla en tu mano, porque el Espíritu de Dios está aquí presente. Peuple de Dieu, prenez la photo, mettez la main là où vous avez une douleur dans votre cœur, et si vous dans votre corps, et si vous avez la photo d'un membre de famille, prenez cette photo là au nom de Jésus Christ. That sickness that is hiding in your system, I say, be exposed right now. Vomit it out. Vomit it out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out of your organs, out of your faculties, out of your system right now. Cette maladie qui se cache dans votre corps, je la commande de sortir maintenant. Maintenant, sortez au nom de Jésus-Christ. Toda enfermedad que esté ocultándose sea expuesta ahora. Vomítalo, vomítalo ahora en el nombre de Jesucristo. You sickness, you pain, you weakness, you affliction. Enough is enough. I proclaim healing right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Healing to your spirits. Healing to your soul. Healing to your body right now. Toi, maladie, affliction, je déclare la guérison. Soyez libérés maintenant au nom de Jésus Christ. Ya es suficiente con esa enfermedad, con esa debilidad, con esa aflicción. Ahora proclamo que eres sanado, sanado, eres sanado. Tu espíritu, alma y cuerpo en el nombre de Jesucristo. Right now, every chain of backwardness in your business be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Ahora mismo toda cadena de retroceso sea rota en el nombre de Jesucristo. Maintenant, toute chaîne de régression dans votre business, soyez brisé au nom de Jésus-Christ. Every chain of limitation in your career be broken right now. Toda limitation en tu carrière sea rota en el nombre de Jésus-Christ. Toute chaîne de limitation dans votre carrière, soyez brisé maintenant au nom de Jésus-Christ. Every chain of stagnation in your finances be broken right now. Toute chaîne de stagnation dans vos finances, soyez brisé maintenant. Toda, toda estancamiento en tus finanzas sea rota en el nombre de Jesucristo. People of God, we can see all over the world the move of the Holy Spirit. This is clear proof that your case has not escaped the anointing of God today. See what is happening all over the world. You are part of this anointing. Receive right now. Podemos ver en todo el mundo el Espíritu de Dios moviéndose y esta es una prueba que no puedes escaparte de la unción del Espíritu de Dios. Recibe ahora. Peuple de Dieu, vous pouvez voir maintenant euh, l'œuvre du Saint-Esprit à travers le monde. Ceci est une preuve que Jésus est encore là. Recevez au nom de Jésus. And remember You are not just here representing yourself. You are here on behalf of your nation. For those of you who have the flag of your nation, I want you to hold it up right now because we are going to commit your nation to the Lord in prayer. Y no solo estás aquí por tu propia cuenta, también estás aquí en nombre de tu nación. Si tienes la bandera de tu nación, por favor, ponla sobre tus manos y ora por tu nación. Souvenez-vous que vous êtes là pour représenter votre nation également. Alors prenez le drapeau de votre pays, nous allons prier pour votre pays. Son of David, have mercy on our nations. Have mercy on our leaders. Have mercy upon us. Fils de Dieu, prends pitié de notre nation et pitié de nous. 
Hijo de David, ten misericordia de mi nación, ten misericordia de mis líderes, ten misericordia. Lord Jesus Christ, come into my heart. Strengthen my desire and determination for you that I may know your will concerning my life, my family, my career, my business, my finances, my destiny. Seigneur Jésus, viens dans mon cœur maintenant que je puisse connaître ta volonté pour ma vie, pour ma famille, pour ma santé, pour mon avenir. Señor Jesucristo, ven a mi corazón para que haya deseo y determinación por ti, para saber tu voluntad en mi vida, en mi familia, en mi destino. People of God, listen to this word of faith. I declare to you right now that your victory is sealed by the blood of Jesus Christ and the fire of the Holy Ghost. Pueblo de Dios, escucha esta palabra. Ahora declaro que tu victoria está sellada por la sangre de Jesucristo y el fuego del Espíritu Santo. Peuple de Dieu, écoutez cette parole de foi. Je déclare votre victoire assurée par le sang de Jésus-Christ. Right now, begin to check yourself. Check yourself to the glory of God and give thanks to Jesus for your healing, your restoration, your revival, your deliverance, your freedom. Maintenant, Consultez-vous et rendez grâce à Dieu pour votre guérison, votre liberté, au nom de Jésus-Christ. Ahora mismo comienza a revisar, revisa tu cuerpo, revisa tu cuerpo y dale gracias por tu sanidad, tu libertad, tu liberación en el nombre de Jesús. And remember the message earlier. Genuine willingness recognizes the real reason for the miracle. Salvation of our souls. So, let me encourage you. The experience of today's interactive prayer service should translate into your life by you taking care of your relationship with God. Give more time, more attention, more interest, more devotion to the things of God. Peuple de Dieu, souvenez-vous du message qui a été donné, que la guérison est pour le salut de votre, de votre âme. S'il vous plaît, prenez soin de votre relation avec, avec Jésus, avec le Saint-Esprit. Pueblo de Dios, lo que has experimentado hoy se traduce en esto. Ten cuidado y una buena relación con Dios. Dedícale más tiempo a las cosas de Dios. Viewers, all over the world. Get ready to receive right now from Jesus Christ. Many people today unknowingly have given permission to the devil to damage their hearts by harboring offense, bitterness, and bad feelings towards others. Enough is enough. Whatever ploy the devil has used to keep your heart in darkness, I declare light in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let there be light right now. Whatever trick the devil has used to keep your heart in bondage. I proclaim freedom right now. Let there be freedom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of offense within your spirits be cast out right now. Every spirit of bitterness within your heart, I say, get out right now. Be free 
from that bondage. Be loosed from that burden in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every unclean spirit tormenting your life your family, your business, your career, your finances. Listen to the voice of God. You must leave right now. Leave with your nightmare. Leave with your depression. Leave with your oppression. Leave with your sickness. Leave with your pain. Leave right now. In the mighty name of God. Jesus Christ, people of God, rejoice and testify to the goodness of God in your life because you are released to a new beginning. Behold, all things pass away. All things become new in Jesus' name. My name is Nyson Paspamire. I'm a Zimbabwean resident in Botswana. I'm a lecturer by profession. I was having lumbar spondylosis and I could not walk, I could not sleep. It was a challenge to me and I was using this belt. Um, and after Prophet Chris prayed for me, I'm now free. I can move my body freely. I don't feel any pain. I'm actually free like uh, as if I did not have this pain. I was having lumbar spondylosis for about three years. When he came in to pray for us, I started feeling sensations and I wanted to vomit. I ended up vomiting blood and saliva. I could just not control myself. I was just, I mean, a shaking when he was praying for us. And I felt this, uh, you know, uh, fire in my body. And my my the pains that were in me disappeared i no longer need this i can easily throw it away i'm free i want to say thank you jesus i can move my body i can stretch thank you lord for my healing thank you jesus my name is Catherine Mason. i'm 17 years old and i come from kenya i had a spirit of bedwetting since I was born, this spirit has been ashamed me because I cannot even go to my friend's place to sleep or even my relative's place. Even at home, as the firstborn, it has been ashamed to remove the mattress every day and my sisters are not liberating. Even in school, it has been difficult for me every day, telling the, uh, the dorm captain to open for me the dorm and go remove my mattress. I have gone to many people to pray for me, but every time they pray for me, they, it even becomes worse. But on Saturday, my grandmother arranged a prayer, arranged for us to be prayed by Brother Chris through Zoom. And ever since he prayed for us that night, I did not bedwet. And through the whole of last week, I've not been bedwetting. I've been even waking up to go to the toilet at night, which I did not used to do before. I thank you, Lord, for he has delivered me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And I also thank God for... I love for using Brother Chris to locate my family. Hello, my name is Samuel. I'm from India. I have attended Zoom prayer meeting with Brother Chris. I was vomiting blood with saliva and it was intense. And I feel a sharp pain on my head. And I saw these big snakes. They were leaving my sight and the small, a black color, and a long snake was leaving my sight. And as Brother Christ asked us to place our hand on our body part where we have pain, I placed my hand on my neck. And after our prayer, I feel much relief. And by the grace of God today, I was able to sing in the church. To God be the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, Holy Spirit, for healing me and delivering me. My name is Florence. I am so lucky that I was on um, God's uh, Heart's TV today for prayers. So I got my deliverance. I got I got healed. It 
instantly. Yesterday, I couldn't turn like this. And even like this, like this, I couldn't do it yesterday. But today, you can see me doing it like this, like this. It is just, I don't know what to say. And let me tell you, children of God, I've been having problem with my knees. This knee here, I couldn't bend it at all. But look, guys, look. Look, guys. Look, guys, look. I can bend it now. I can even squat, guys. You can see I can squat. This is, this is, this is not something to joke about, guys. God is here. God is in God's heart TV. I broke my, this hand, this hand here, this two finger, and I broke the whole thing here three months ago. I couldn't do this. It was so painful when I'm doing a fist. Look, today I can do a fist. I can do a fist today, guys. I can do a fist, children of God. This is so real, so real. The only body who is going to see, watch this, TV, this, this video, God is here. God is here. Brother Chris, thank you very much for letting yourself be used by God. Bye-bye. Thank you. I'm over the moon. My name is Sandy Siwe Mdoninji. I am from South Africa. I was fortunate to be a part of the interactive prayer session. Before the prayer session, I had a problem with my left leg. It was just too painful. I couldn't do anything, anything around the house. Even when sitting down, I needed to elevate my leg. I had been to doctors. I've even been to a neurosurgeon more than two times and um, I couldn't be helped. So after the interactive prayer session, my life has returned now to normal. I am able to do the chores around the house. I am even able to take my daughter to the park, which I haven't been able to do for approximately 18 months. I would like to thank uh, you, Brother Chris. Thank you. And I'd like to give glory and honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My mom had an aching pain in her hip, which disabled her walking. She could barely walk around the house, never mind climb up any sort of ground with elevation. As you can see now in the video, she can walk up a hill, she can climb down a hill as well. We hadn't gone to the park in many, many months, but now she can go there with my sister and they can play because Jesus has healed her. Thank you, Lord. My name is uh, Kawi Yusufu. I'm a, a professor uh, in South Africa. I have the privilege um, to be part of the uh, interactive prayer session uh, with uh, Prophet Chris. I have been having nightmares, all sorts of nightmares that one can think of, even two to three hours before the interactive prayer session, I even had that nightmare. But for the past uh, five years, uh, five days that, uh, I mean, after the prayer uh, session, I've been having a very peaceful night. It's so good, it's so wonderful to eventually know what it means to have a very peaceful night. Thanks to Holy Spirit. I know what, once again what it means to have a peaceful night. No nightmare. My night is peaceful. I sleep like a baby. Thank you so much, uh, Prophet uh, Chris, for letting yourself be used by the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. My name is Maria Blanco, de Bogotá, Colombia. I want to give thanks, primarily, to God for having made me participate in this oration massive, and thanks to my brother Chris. My testimony is that I was suffering from diverticulitis, and thanks to God, today I was sana totally from it, and I was also with a pain in my head, and thanks to God, I was sana from the pain in my head. And also, I invited Eh, invité a mi, a mi amiga, a mi amiguita Nicola Alejandra Mora. Ella también va a dar su testimonio de lo que Dios hizo en la vida de ella. Eh, 
Bueno, primeramente gracias a Dios y gracias al hermano Cris porque a través de sus oraciones, a través de lo usado que ha sido por Dios, eh, fui sana de una amenaza de aborto, yo estoy en un estado de embarazo, ya tengo siete meses de embarazo y pues el día de hoy fui sana, también de un dolor de espalda que llevaba ya por mucho tiempo y un dolor en la pierna, ya estoy totalmente sana y primeramente gracias a Dios nuevamente yeah, Vivi. Gracias. My name is Asimba from South Africa and I just got my healing by taking part in Brother Chris's interactive prayer service. In the month of June, I was afflicted with a terrible back pain that made it difficult for me to do anything. I went to the hospital, they did x-rays and they did not find anything, but I could feel that something is wrong and my heart told me that it was a spiritual attack so today i was opportuned to take part in the prayer service and as brother chris was ministering to us and sharing the word i really felt the power of god in the room i felt god by me and as he started praying i felt a force that pushed me and i felt it to the ground as i got up I felt light, I felt happy, I felt relieved, I felt like I could just go to sleep because all is well and I thank God, I thank God for my healing, I thank Brother Chris for being the, the, the vessel that God is using to touch our lives. And I'm healed from a terrible back pain through the interactive prayer with Brother Chris. Before, I couldn't stand properly, I couldn't lie properly, I couldn't walk properly, I couldn't bath my son, I, do, I couldn't do most of the things that I usually do on a daily basis. But now I can bend, I can stand, I can walk, all to the glory of God and I'm back to bathing my son every day, I'm back to cooking i'm doing everything that i was doing before and i say praise god thank you jesus que la joie et la paix soient avec vous au nom de jésus christ amen je m'appelle liliane et je vis au canada je viens aujourd'hui faire le témoignage de ce que le seigneur a fait dans ma vie et dans celle de ma famille pendant la dernière prière interactive avec le frère chris samedi euh, il a demandé que nous posons la main sur la partie de notre corps qui nous cause des douleurs j'ai posé ma main et j'ai commencé à tousser et j'ai eu des douleurs au niveau du dos, de grandes douleurs au niveau du dos et jusqu'à mon ventre. Après la prière, je me sentais vraiment légère, je me sentais bien. Et je souffrais de constipation depuis trois ans. Et depuis cette prière, je n'ai plus eu ces symptômes. Je remercie vraiment l'éternel Dieu Tout-Puissant d'avoir utilisé puissamment le frais Christ afin que l'onction puisse toucher mon corps, ma vie ainsi que celle de toute ma famille. Merci Seigneur Jésus-Christ, soyez bénis. Que l'Éternel bénisse le Frère Christ, que l'Éternel bénisse toute son équipe, que Dieu soit glorifié à jamais. Merci mon Dieu, mon roi. Merci Jésus Christ. Amen. My name is Fines Njovu from Malawi. I'm 45 years old. Uh, today I was privileged to be part of the interactive players by man of God, Pastor Chris. The problem I had was my green headache. I used uh, to have very much painful headache as if someone is poking my ears with a needle and i used to take strong painkillers today during the interactive prayer i vomited this poisonous substance after vomiting this poisonous substance i felt very light i checked myself and i noticed that the pain has stopped thank you jesus i'm healed thank you jesus my name is Trenzila Costa. I'm originally from India, but I'm living in the UK. My first testimony was about my irregular bleeding. I was sporting from on and off. I was not getting my proper period, but when I attend the service of Brother Chris, I start to get my proper period. Uh, even I was having the swelling and the pain on my abdominal. So it is disappeared and I'm healed. I'm healed. Uh, thank you lord for healing for me from the irregular bleeding and my second testimony was about my daughter my daughter she is a five years she a uh, few weeks ago she was complaining uh, about uh, bad dreams whenever she go to sleep she must to cry she don't want to go to sleep because she's getting the bad dreams 
On that day, she, my daughter attended the service and she also received the deliverance. Uh, in the morning, she started to complain, Mom, I have no more bad, uh, bad dreams and Jesus healed me. Thank you, Lord, for touching my daughter and for me. My name is Rael and I live in Germany. Yesterday I was in a prayer meeting and while man of God, Chris, uh, brother Chris was praying, my body was shaking like electricity. I feel the presence of God and my old body was uh, heating and uh, my hands were shaking. The old body was vibrating like... Um, yeah, like, uh, like electricity. And afterwards, uh, I feel peace in my heart. I feel freedom. And even last night, I was able to sleep well without nightmare. The reason why I registered myself for prayer was because of a lot of nightmare. I have a lot of nightmare in the last, uh, since 2020, I have ex constantly nightmares. And that is the reason why I ask for prayer. God bless you, man of God, in Jesus' name. Bendiciones, le doy gracias a Dios por este tiempo hermoso en el cual recibí la oración del hermano Chris y quiero de, darles mi testimonio que pues cuando él empezó la oración interactiva yo pude recibir um, sanidad, la evidencia pues yo la tengo acá Cuando el hermano Chris empezó a orar, yo sentí algo en mi estómago y empecé a sentir esto que subía y, y lo pude uh, poner acá y le doy gracias a Dios porque yo estaba pidiendo oración por azúcar eh, y uh, prediabetes y por presión alta, presión arterial alta. Muchas gracias, le doy a Dios por mi sanidad, porque sé que Él la he, ha hecho y que Dios les bendiga grandemente en su ministerio y hermano Cris. Gracias. My name is Andy Koza from South Africa. Initially I was diagnosed with gout and cholesterol and I was given medication for pains on my feet. And also, I was having a problem with rotary calf tear on my shoulder. I could lift up to here previous, but after prayer, I can lift it up. I don't feel any pain anymore. And my feet are okay. I can do everything. Squat. I used to have joint, joint pains, but now I don't have them anymore. And I'm no longer using this medication because I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Hello, my name is Maria Daka, and I come from Zambia. Prior to the interactive prayer session, I was diagnosed with COVID, which gave me some complications, which doctors termed as post-COVID complications. It gave me pneumonia, it gave me heart palpitations, it gave me severe headache, and it gave me what they call a functional neurological disorder, which affected my speech. In this period, I equally had a lot of evil attacks. I would see spirits, demons appear physically in my room. During the interactive prayer session, I felt a sensation in my body and I felt a vibration moving within my body. I instantly felt something cut from my worst and I began to vomit during the process. And after the prayers, what I noticed was that I was able to sleep properly without having, I no longer have the evil attacks. I also would stand for a long period of time. I'm even able to walk because I had issues with mobility. I'm able to walk without being aided. And I thank the Lord God for seeing me through, for coming through for me. Thank you, Lord, and thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. I attended the Zoom meeting by brother Chris and as he prayed I started vomiting and the pain and the heaviness in my head just left me. I give all glory to Jesus Christ alone for my healing. 
I was relieved totally and completely of the heaviness in my complete body. All glory to God alone. I praise God for Brother Chris who prayed for us on Zoom meeting. Thank you. My name is Amorin Vijedi from Kenya. Uh, last Saturday I was invited by my colleague, that is Madam Lucy, uh, for an interactive prayer by Brother Chris. And I was so happy because I had a problem with my eyes which was so persistent. I couldn't see well lights, I couldn't use the lights. Uh, because of uh, a lot of uh, problem with my seeing and the itchiness of the eyes. But after the prayers on Saturday, I really thank God because I've been healed my eyes. I can see well, I don't have that itchiness of the eyes. And I really appreciate God for using Brother Chris to pray for us. My name is Maina Shilwani from South Africa. I was blessed enough to be part of interactive prayer with Brother Chris. During the prayer, I felt this burning sensation all over my body. I was manifesting. And I've, after the, the, the prayer, I felt very light and relieved because I was delivered from generational curses and spirit of anger. I would like to thank God for his hand upon my life. And I see there's a lot of changes uh, in my life. Now I can read the Bible. I can praise and worship for no reason. And it goes to show that this is, is not a barrier. I'm by name of Wazemba Joram. I'm a Ugandan by nationality but currently working in Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. I had a problem in my throat and I also had difficulty in breathing. So during the prayer session, as the, as the man of God was praying for us, I started vomiting. I started vomiting things that were in my throat. I don't know what we did. And for the glory of God, right now I'm okay. I'm, I feel okay, I can breathe naturally. I can even demonstrate it. Before I had something here, I could feel pain inside me, but uh, it, I went to the hospital, they checked me, nothing they found. They told me that I'm okay, I'm okay, and yet I had something here. But for the glory of God, after the prayers, during the prayers, I'm now okay. I thank God for healing me, and I thank Brother Chris for his endless prayers. Glory and honor back to Jesus. My name is Florence. I'm from Kenya. I have been sick for a long time. My back pain, my lower abdomen. Sometimes back, the doctor confirmed that I have arthritis, pneumonia. But today, after this interaction prayer, my back pain, I can bend. As you can see, I can bend. My legs, I can raise my legs. And there is this substance. I will show you. I vomited. This is the substance. I glorify, I glorify God for the healing. I am free in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I am healed completely. Hi, my name is Rixen. I thank God for this uh, prayer session with God's Heart TV team. Uh, thank you for the wonderful message. Uh, during the prayer, my stomach started crumbling and I vomited. So I thank Brother Chris for allowing God to use you mightily and God bless you and God's heart TV team. Hi, my name is Chetri and this is my daughter Saloki. During prayer, I feel like vomiting and I was coughing and sneezing as well. I thank God Almighty for the prayers for our nation, Vanuatu, as well. Thank you. I feel a coldness through my body and know that I have healed in Jesus' name. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Brother Chris. May God bless you, ministry. Mi nombre es Jacqueline Cruz. Soy del país de Chile y quiero dar las gracias a Dios primero que nada, a Jesucristo, por sanarme, por libertarme, por esa oración interactiva que hizo el profeta Cris en nombre de Dios. Dios sanó a través de esa oración mi corazón. También sonó, sanó mi dolor de espalda que yo sufría cada vez que tomaba a mi hija en brazos. Hoy día ya no tengo ese dolor, ahora yo puedo jugar con ella. Y Dios me ha sanado. Honro a Jesucristo en esta hora y los invito a ustedes también a participar. Y que Dios es real y que Jesucristo tiene poder. Y que la distancia no es un impedimento para que tú recibas tu bendición. Shalom. My name is uh, Sofia Mirimo. I'm from Zambia. I really thank God for this uh, program, for this prayer. The time we started praying, I felt power of God. And the time Brother Chris said we should touch whatever we are feeling pains, I, I, I felt my stomach like there was fire. And after that, he said he received the keys. I saw three keys, white, and the doors were opening. So I really thank God. I know that we will never be the same with my family. Thank you, Jesus. And I vomited the poison. So I really thank God. This is the poison. I really thank God. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Florence Sulahama from Botswana. I thank our Lord Jesus for healing me through the Zoom prayer by Brother Chris. I had a waist pain. The pain became too much at night when I'm on the bed. Turning my body was a big challenge to me. But now I can shake my body. I can shake my body without experiencing pain on my waist. I can shake my body. I can bend. There's no pain. I can bend. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering me. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Hopewell from South Africa. I was blessed by God to get connected to Brother Chris through interactive prayer session. I was experiencing problems of a left lung pain and a chest pain. And I was also experiencing some chronic back pain since around 2008. So I visited some doctors for this back pain, but they couldn't help me. But by the grace of God, during the prayer, I will feel this peace inside me and calmness. Glory to God. Now, all of those pain, that lung pain, that chest pain, that back pain, they've gone. I'm healed. Jesus Christ has healed me. Glory be to God. My name is Pastor Francine. Uh, I attended the prayer line today with uh, Brother Christ. And when he was praying, I started vomiting. As you can see, what I vomited, I bless the name of the Lord. I glorify the name of God for what I have done to my life. I receive my deliverance. I'm delivered. I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. Hi, I participated in the interactive prayer session. I was having some discomfort in my uh, throat area, like it was feeling heavy, felt like something was placed on it. And I was also having some constipation issues. As soon as Brother Chris started to pray, I felt some heat on my body and, uh, and like a strange weakness in my gut area. After the prayers, when I checked myself, I was so incredibly blessed and I was delivered from all my problems. I want to thank uh, the Holy Spirit Spirit for locating me in his mercy and in his grace and I want to thank brother Chris for praying for us thank you so much brother Chris my name is Kajinga from Zambia for the past three years I've been battling with spine problem which affected my leg left leg walking has been a challenge but during today's prayer with brother Chris I followed the prayer and vomited and now I'm able to do what I was not able to do the past three years. 
I'm able to lift my leg, both legs. <coughs> These are the worms. I thank God. My name is Mrs. Faith Kangara from Zimbabwe. I was one of the participants in, during the interactive prayer service with Brother Chris. As the prayer was going on, I felt a, a cold sensation on my back area and especially the hip area where I've been having some great pain, severe ones for more than four years. The numbness on my right thigh just disappeared and the moving object ceased. The pains, all the pains which I've been suffering for, pains of the past, offense in my heart. I just felt light right now and I believe I've been healed in all faculties of life, I thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. My name is Aida from Zambia. Before pray, the prayers, I used to have a problem with my legs. My legs used to hit. And uh, my one of my daughters, one, also used to have a problem with it, her chest. She used to have chest problem. My mother also was having a problem with her left hand. But after the prayers, uh, after being prayed for, the heat in my legs vanished. My daughter also, who was having chest pains, also the pain stopped. My mother also, who was having a problem with her left hand, the pain also stopped. So we really thank God. We thank God for God using Brother Chris, who is touching so many lives. Soy Luis Palacio, venezolano, viviendo en Buenos Aires, Argentina. Le doy gracias al Señor Jesucristo por mi sanidad. Antes tenía un problema en la cadera, yo hacía esto y me sonaba el hueso. Después que el hermano Chris dijo que probáramos en qué parte del cuerpo teníamos la enfermedad, hice así y me sorprendió que no me suena ningún hueso. Gloria a Dios. Gracias Señor Jesucristo por la sanidad. Gracias hermano Chris y al equipo de Gold Heart TV. My name is Karen Saruni. I'm from Nairobi, Kenya. By the grace of God, I was opportuned to be prayed for by the man of God, Brother Chris, during yesterday's interactive prayer. I've been trusting and believing God for my breakthrough and my deliverance. And God located me yesterday. God delivered me from the evil spirit that was tormenting me. Most of the time, I used to be unhappy, uh, we used to quarrel with my husband, I used to have nightmares, and I could not even sleep in the night. But since yesterday, I have been sleeping peacefully, and I can able now to control my emotions. I want to thank Jesus for delivering me from this evil spirit that was tormenting me. Thank you, Jesus. I'm delivered. My name is Faida Moisekerere. Beside me is my husband, Joanne Mukumene, and our son. Uh, I thank God for this interactive prayer. When Brother Chris was praying, I was feeling chest pains, but now they are gone. And then on my right hand, I was feeling like something is going out when he was praying. And I know my breakthrough is here. I thank God for that. Hello, people of God. Uh, I just want to thank God uh, for the deliverance. It was uh, Pastor Chris when he was praying, uh, both me and my wife, uh, we just felt it's more like a heat. Uh, then we both started vomiting. This is what we started vomiting. Uh, this was for my wife and this part as well, uh, that was for me. So we just want to thank God and praise God uh, for the deliverance. Amen. My name is Wesley Matafen and I'm from Zimbabwe, but currently I'm in India for my studies. Uh, today, as Brother Chris was praying, uh, the Spirit of God touched me and I felt like vomiting. And by by His grace, I was able to vomit out the poisonous substances. And I was able to vomit this. Yes. And I, I vomited all that. And oh, glory be unto God for that because I'm now free. And I was having back pains. I couldn't stand for a very long time. God touched me during the prayer. Now I can stand for a very long period of time. And also I couldn't sleep before, but now I, I, I can sleep. 
now I can actually sleep well. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So now I can I can stand for a very long time. Yeah. So yeah. So all oh, glory unto God. My name is Nora, and I am really happy today because I got the chance, the opportunity to get connected to God's Heart TV and through the servant of God, Brother Chris, I have received my deliverance, I have received my restoration, I feel light, I feel happy. Before the prayer started, I was feeling very down, I had a terrible headache, I experienced some some abdominal pains. I no longer feel those pains to the glory of God. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you for your deliverance. I thank you for your healing. My name is David. Uh, I'm from Uganda. By the grace of God, I've been part of the interactive prayer. And uh, my issue, I've had uh, abdominal pain. I've been dreaming, eating and drinking in the dream. And it has affected me. I've had sickness in the abdomen. But as the man of God was praying, I began to vomit. Uh, so I feel free after the prayers uh, by the man of God. I am free. I am delivered. I am light. And I know that solution has come to me in Jesus' name. My name is John from Namibia. I had the privilege to be on the interactive prayer meeting with brother chris when he said grab the keys and spirit and start opening all the doors that has been closed by the devil somehow i touched my car keys that were on the table the minute i touched those car keys i started vomiting after i vomited i realized that the pain that was on my right side that has been troubling me for a year disappeared as well as the pain under my right foot it also disappeared until today it's over yeah I haven't had any pain, so thank you, man of God. Thank you, Jesus, for my deliverance. My name is Matlodi from South Africa. I struggled with uh, stomach cramps, constipation, and stomach pain. During the prayer session with Brother Chris, I sensed the power of the Holy Spirit. Then I started burping, burping, then vomiting the white substances almost the entire prayer session. And after the prayer session, I felt so relieved. Those stomach cramps and pains were gone. Even today, I don't have those pains and cramps anymore. I thank God for my deliverance. My name is Kopano from South Africa. I had a problem with sinuses. So I attended the, prayers, the Saturday prayer session with my mother. During the prayer session, while Pastor Chris was praying for us, I felt the presence of the Holy Spirit. After the prayer session, I went to the bathroom to take a dump. And then I realized that there was blood in the toilet. I thank God for my deliverance. I am no longer having any pains or running stomach or cramps anywhere. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Marta. Eh, soy colombiana, vivo en España desde hace 20 años. Eh, quería demostrar lo que hoy he eh, vomitado. Hoy Dios me tocó, tocó mi corazón, tocó mi alma. Y voy a enseñar lo que he vomitado. Ha sido um, esto cuando el hermano Cris estaba orando por finanzas, estaba orando por liberación. Eh, me entró eh, muchas ganas de, de vomitar, de sacar algo y le doy toda la gloria a Dios, le doy las gracias al Señor por haberme tocado a mí, haberme tocado a mi familia. Gracias Jesús, gracias hermano Chris, gracias God Heart TV y estoy muy feliz de que Dios me haya encontrado en el nombre poderoso de Jesús. Hello, this is Joyce from Kenya. Um, I have a testimony to share. I was opportunity to be in the interactive prayer session with Brother Chris. And there after prayer, I received, I could sleep like a baby. No more nightmares. No more spiritual husband. I slept very well that night till now. At first I could experience spiritual husband, dogs attacking me. 
But after prayer, I thank God, no more nightmares. I'm free, I'm delivered from, for the glory of God. My name is Sophia from Namibia. Today I'm privileged to join in the active prayer with Brother Chris. Before I was feeling my, my, my feet, my feet was very pain. I cannot walk properly. During interactive prayer, I feel hot and now I feel light. I can walk freely. I can now walk freely. I can walk freely now. I can walk without pain. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God has TV. Thank you, Brother Chris. Hello, I'm Lillian from Kenya. And today I was privileged to be amongst those who are able to be at the interactive prayer service with Pastor Chris. I was touched in a mighty way by the Holy Spirit while Pastor Chris was praying. I felt this sensation like I wanted to, to vomit because I had stomach problem and I vomited some poisonous stuff. I took a picture of it and after that I feel so good, I feel so light, I feel so blessed. I can't explain just how blessed I feel right now. It was beautiful. Thank you for the I am Maine Sara from South Africa, but originally from Malawi. I want to thank God that I was one of the people, blessed people, that were invited for the interactive prayers by Prophet Chris. During the prayers, I felt the power of the Lord. I felt the presence of the Holy Spirit. I felt this heat all over my body. Before the prayers, I had the problem of acid. Whenever I eat anything, I would have this severe head burn. I couldn't take coffee. I couldn't take beans. I couldn't eat beans. I couldn't eat rice. I couldn't eat many things. But to the glory of God, on Saturday, after the prayers, when I went home, I took coffee. Nothing happened on my chest. I ate beans. Nothing happened on my chest. Till today, I'm eating. I want to thank God because I'm healed. I'm completely healed. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. I had this uh, pain of the past, but after prayers, I'm free. I'm having this peace from above. I want to thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Prophet Chris. My name is Gloria Mlinga from Zambia. I have been having uh, sharp pain from my back all the way to, to the plants, and this pain has been disturbing me. I can't even do a lot of work. So today, during the interactive uh, players with Brother Chris, when he started uh, praying for the viewers, I felt and I experienced uh, the hand of God. I felt like there was fire in my, my, my shoulder, in my arm, and in my fingers. I just felt the presence of God. And after that, I started coughing, coughing and coughing and coughing. Just after that, I am delivered. I am healed. There is no more pain in my back. There is no more pain in my plants, in my breast. There is no more pain. The whole pain is gone. I just want to say thank you to Brother Cleese. Thank you to God's Heart TV. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. May God bless you. May God increase you. Thank you so much. Thank you. My name is Lucky. I was having high blood pressure was causing me weakness in the body and pains. I couldn't raise up my hands. Yeah, the medication. Yeah, the medication I was taking every morning. After the prayer of Saturday, I can raise my hands now. I don't have pains anymore. I thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God's Art TV. My name is Jennifer. I come from Kenya. I'm glad that I was involved in the interactive prayers. I was able to vomit when the prayers were on. I was able to get delivered through those prayers. And now I feel free. 
and I've gotten breakthrough in my prayers. Now I can pray for hours. Before that time, I could wake up to pray and it's like there was a blanket on top of me. But now I feel free. I used to have like headaches all through and something moving on my right hand. But now I feel, I feel free. And I thank God for what he's doing in my life and what he's doing in that ministry. My name is Ngundgoe. I am from Namibia. Me and my daughter were privileged to be part of the interactive prayer service with Brother Chris. My daughter had a problem of sleep, uh, I mean of speaking while she is sleeping. Like she'll be speaking things while she's asleep. So it is two days now since she received the prayers that she did not speak again when she is sleeping. As of myself, during the prayer, I started feeling so much joy, that great joy that I've never felt ever in my life. And I still feel that joy. We are so grateful about what the Lord has done in our lives. We are so thankful, thankful uh, for what uh, his servant, Brother Chris, is doing among the nations. Yeah.